Now is the time for the practice of yoga. As we prepare to meet ourselves here, we'll start off in the pose called constructive rest. And this posture is reclined on your back with your knees bent and your feet onto the floor. So with your knees bent and feet onto the floor, you might take a moment here to adjust through your low back, making sure you're as comfortable as possible. And as you start to shift gears, coming into your practice, releasing the events of your day, If it's comfortable for you, if it feels all right, you might close your eyes. And as you're landing here, meeting yourself for your practice, let's bring our attention to the breath. And if all Inhalation, perhaps in through your nose deeply. And a big cleansing, releasing exhalation. Good. Another full inhale. And a releasing, cleansing exhale. Good. Perhaps at the end of that exhale, gently swallow, moistening your mouth, relaxing your jaw. Now, if it feels all right for you, you might place your hands onto your lower abdomen or onto your belly. Allowing the touch of your hands to bring a greater awareness to any movement awareness of your breath. So as we center here, inhaling and exhaling gently, perhaps beginning to notice the rise and fall of your abdomen. And begin to become aware of where your body is in contact with the earth. So your feet, your low back, and perhaps your mid back and upper back, the back of your arms, the back of your head. And as you allow your awareness to be on these points of contact, with your next exhalation, you might invite your body to relax and let go a little bit more, dropping into the support. As you're shifting gears from your day and landing here, centering for your practice, observing the movement of your breath, perhaps the rise and fall of your abdomen. I would invite you to do a very gentle body scan. You might begin your body scan at the top of your head and gently move your awareness through. Noticing your scalp, your forehead, your eyebrows. Scanning along your face, your cheeks, your nose, your upper lip and lower lip your jaw, your chin. Body awareness as you scan your ears, your neck, your throat. 
Gently continue your body scan across your collarbones, your chest, your shoulders. Follow your awareness through your arms, your elbows, forearms, wrist, hands, and fingers. Witnessing this awareness through your torso, your abdomen, your back, your spine, through the space of your belly, your pelvis, your hips, buttocks, thighs, knees, forelegs, ankles, feet and toes. Shift your witnessing and your attention back to the movement of your breath. Noticing this awareness and attention. Perhaps a little more space in your body. A little more ease to allow for greater circulation, longer, slower, deeper breaths, and an overall sense of well being. We'll take a few more moments here to really encourage this yogic breathing, this diaphragmatic breathing. Your belly gently rising, expanding softly on your inhale. And your belly relaxing back on your exhale. Inhaling, your abdomen gently expands and rises. And exhaling, your belly relaxes back. Three more belly breaths here. Inhaling, the belly gently rises. Exhaling, your belly relaxes back. And then thank yourself for this body scan, this time of paying attention, and perhaps commit to checking in with yourself in a similar way a couple more times this week so that all the parts of yourself feel seen. And as you are ready, gently release your arms down by your sides. Stretch your legs out long and find a full body stretch. Reach your arms up overhead along the floor. And as you stretch, you might find some movement with your wrist in circles, perhaps spiraling your ankles around. 
Wiggling fingers and toes, big inhale, big exhale. Gradually relax your arms down by your sides, bend your knees again, feet to the mat just for a moment, and then gather your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs, giving your legs a squeeze, checking in here with your back, with your belly, and then rocking gently from side to side. As you're gently massaging your back, take your time here. Perhaps there's small rocking movements left and right. Maybe it's a little farther to the side, propping yourself back up with your elbows. See what feels right in your body. Notice what's happening and have the intention to be improving your circulation, intending to release anything that feels tight or sticky behind us and our back, letting it go. Good. Back at center, one hand onto each knee and move your knees together in a few circles. Stirring your knees around in circles will bring a massage sensation to your low back. And change the direction of these big circles. Massaging your low back, getting ready for all of your spring activities. Good, and then for a moment, let's circle our knees in opposite directions. So these are more of hip circles. If you take your knees wide and apart, out and around, and then circle them back together, visualize the space of your thigh bones stirring around in your hip sockets. So we're going to clear out any tired, stuck energy, anything that feels a little sticky in the hips. And this too, you can switch the direction. So you might go maybe three big circles one way, and then maybe three big circles the other way. Notice what you're noticing. We're checking in with our body here. So it's a way of tuning in. Good. Bring your knees back to center. Give your legs a hug. And then one time here, if it's all right for your neck and shoulders, exhale to lift your head and shoulders, rounding in, curling in, squeeze, and then release your head and shoulders back down. Very nice. Bring your feet down to the mat. Step your feet a little wider apart on your yoga mat. Your knees will be bent and release your arms out to the sides. We'll windshield wiper the thighs now from side to side. So with your feet wide apart, you, know, you may feel this targeting the front of your hips and thighs. As you move from side to side, if it feels all right for your neck, you could experiment with turning your head in the opposite direction from your knees, encouraging a little more openness and flexibility through the spine as this invites a tiny twist from cranium to sacrum. Good. Continuing to feel your way through the practice, developing a heightened sense of awareness, noticing what's happening in your body, responding to what you find, paying attention, breathing with, and being with yourself. It's very brilliant system called the body that travels us around, <sighs> taking care of it, tending to it, and learning what best suits our particular self. Good. Now let's stretch everything long again. Reach, 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 reach. Legs out long, arms way up overhead along the floor. And then on your exhale, bring just your right knee into your chest. As you exhale, give that leg a squeeze, hug it in deeply and towards your chest. Good. And then inhale, stretch everything long again. Reach it out long. 
Very nice. Continuing your exhale, left knee in. Give it a squeeze. Hug it in. Very nice. Continuing here. Inhale everything out long. Right knee in. Exhale. Stretch everything long. Inhale. Left knee in. Exhale. Good. Keep going here three more times. Inhale everything long. Optional as you're hugging right knee in this time, you might lift your head and shoulders towards your knee. See how that feels for your body. Inhale, stretch everything out long. And exhale, left knee in. You know, the part of my body that wants to stay in hibernation isn't so thrilled with it, but the part of my body that wants to <laughs> melt into spring is giving a little more energy. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, everything long. So paying attention to all of the parts of yourself. Exhale, left knee in. Inhale, everything long. And making your own informed decision for yourself. Exhale, right knee in. Inhale, everything long. Last side, exhale, left knee in. Inhale, everything long. Big full body stretch, 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 reach, reach, reach. And then bring both knees into your chest again here for a squeeze. Rocking your body side to side, tending to your low back, giving a little massage to your back muscles. Full inhale, full exhale. Good. Keep your right knee in and bring your left foot down to the floor. We'll keep our left leg bent to start. Right leg stretching up to the sky and check in with your ankle with some big ankle circles. Moving your right foot around. Circling the other way. You might Move your foot a little side to side to stretch your inner ankle and your outer ankle. You could point and flex a few times. While your foot is up there in the sky, spread your toes out nice and wide. Curl them in, spread them out, and curl them in. Good. Bend your right knee into your chest again. We'll squeeze this leg into the body and left leg out along the floor as we did before. Good. Moving into a reclined twist. Use your left hand to draw this leg across the midline of your body so your right hand can come out to the floor. As you use your left hand to draw your leg over, reaching out through your right arm for balance, moving as far into the twist as feels right for you. We'll be here for about three to five more rounds of breath. Optional to turn your head to the right. Intending to assist all of the systems of your body with making the transition from winter to spring. From yesterday to today, from the moment, one moment to the next. Good. Gather your right knee back and give it a gentle squeeze into your chest. Good. And then stretch everything out long. Reach your legs out long, arms up overhead. Again, you might move your wrists and ankles, dance your fingers and your toes. I saw in front of the house after the snow melted, little tiny flowers are wanting to come up. So fingers and toes coming out of hibernation in that similar way. Relax your arms down by your sides, bend your knees. You might put your hands on your belly again if that's comfortable, full inhale, full exhale. Good. Now just scanning through. Again, the body scan gives us the practice to not barrel through the moments of our lives, 
but to take that moment to pause and notice what's happening. So notice what's happening in your right foot and see if there's any difference in feeling or sensation than your left foot. Scanning through perhaps a different sense of awareness in your right hip, your right abdomen. Good. When you're ready, left leg to the sky, and we will do our ankle circles on the left side. Go ahead and circle the opposite direction as well. Pronate your foot a little here, side to side, stretching the inner arch and your outer ankle. Point and flex. Spread your toes nice and wide apart and curl them in. Spread them out and curl them in. Good. When you're ready, bring your left knee into your chest. Give your leg a squeeze, right leg out along the floor and we'll move into our reclined twist use your right hand this time to draw your leg across the midline of your body your left arm can reach out to assist you with balance here finding the outline of the pose good bring your attention to your breath Very nice. Bring your knee back to center. You might give that leg a little squeeze before a big full body stretch again. Reach your legs out long, arms up overhead along the floor. A little dance of your fingers and toes. Good. And bend both of your knees, feet onto the mat. Return for five breaths and constructive rest, the pose in which we began. Hands onto your belly, feel your feet nice and grounded here. A little more space. New diaphragmatic breathing pattern established here. When you are ready, roll to one side. You might pause for a moment and then gently press yourself up. We're coming onto hands and knees into a tabletop position. Now I have a blanket under my knees. It's just a nice little added support saving my knees for weeding the garden this summer. So as we start to move here in our cat and cow, coordinate the movements with your breath. On your inhalation, tilt your sitting bones up towards the sky, bring your heart forward, gently lift your chin. And as you exhale, arch your back towards the ceiling, release your head down between your arms, pointing your tailbone down towards the floor. Inhale, cow pose, tilt your sitting bones up, lift your chin. Exhale, arch your back, release your head. I'm doing three or four more rounds here. Take your time, move with your breath.
We'll take a pause in our child's pose. For this posture, you might take your knees a little wider apart, your big toes in towards each other. And as you shift your hips back towards your heels, perhaps you lower down to your elbows first, stretching back any way, or maybe moving all the way back, sitting back onto your heels, resting your arms and your head onto the earth. On an inhale, let's come back up to hands and knees in your tabletop position and stretch just your right leg back behind you. Tuck your toes under on the mat. And as you press back, you might do just a little point and flex, just a little movement of your ankle, stretching back through your heel, pressing forward and back. And then come into a stopping point where your shoulders are over your wrist. Engage just a little bit through your core as you lift your right toes up off of the earth. So we'll aim to keep that thigh parallel with the floor. Engaging through your core here, that inner awareness of where your hips are in space. And as you're pressing back through your right heel, optional here to experiment with reaching your left arm forward into a balancing table. Turning your left thumb towards the sky might be the most comfortable position for your shoulder. Perhaps gazing slightly forward. And release. Bring your hand and your knee back down to the mat. Shift your hips a little here side to side. Full breath in. Nice big cleansing exhale. Second side, left leg back, toes onto the mat. Do a little forward and back here. So pressing back, shifting forward. Just waking up your left ankle, calf, maybe even your toes a little bit there. And as you come into a neutral tabletop position, shoulders over your wrist, engaging your core just a little bit here as you lift your left toes, press back through your heel, Feeling the, where you are in space, keeping your thigh as parallel to the earth as possible. Looking slightly forward, maybe you're floating your right arm forward, thumb towards the sky, steady with your breath here, strong through your center, working your back muscles, helping to hug you to your core, to your center. And really spring your hand and your knee back down. Again, shift your hips a little bit here, side to side, full breath in, full breath out. All right. We will do a twisting uh, table here. So you, if you would like to watch first, we'll start with our right arm reaching up towards the sky, and then you're going to thread your arm and shoulder all the way under down to the earth, down to the floor. So if you would like, you could reach up first, reaching up and then spiraling under. So you'll rest on the back of your right shoulder and your head. Good. Three breaths here. Excellent. Press into your left hand to come up. Inhale back to your table and exhale. Second side, left arm reaching up high to the sky and then spiraling under for your twisting table, bringing your left shoulder down to the mat, resting on the side of your head. Big full breaths here. And when you're ready, press into your right hand. Inhale, coming back to table. 
and exhale. We are coming to standing. If you would like to come through downward dog, you might shift your hands just a little farther forward, tuck your toes under and lift your knees up off the mat, sending your hips up high to the sky. If you're in downward dog, you could pedal your heels a little bit. If you're skipping this pose, you might just be making your way to standing. For those in downward dog, you could walk your hands and feet towards each other for a standing forward fold as an option. And then eventually either rolling or coming up with a flat back, rolling to standing, inhaling, coming all the way up and exhaling. Good. Like I usually have one of my textbooks underneath my computer, so it's a little higher, but that's all right. Okay. So as you come to standing, taking a moment here, again, just checking in with your, checking in with your body, checking in with yourself. We're going to come into mountain pose. And with mountain pose, you'll be standing with your feet either together or sitting bone distance apart. Nice and strong through your legs here. So really engage the muscles of your legs. Now in some practices, we're guided to have our big toes touching our heels slightly apart. If that feels a little uneven for you today, you might step your feet to about sitting bone distance apart so that there is a greater feeling of stability. So doing what feels right for you. We get to change as much as mother nature does. <laughs> same, same. Good, so here in mountain pose, strong, strong legs, even squeezing through your glutes a little bit here. Now in mountain, sometimes we're guided to turn our palms forward. And this is so we can feel that openness across our heart, chest and shoulders and even begin to sense where our shoulder blades are. So we might be able to squeeze our shoulder blades a little bit flatter down in towards each other on our back. Now, perhaps if you've been working with this, maybe keeping that feeling in the upper body and turning your palms to face by your sides. Good, if you notice that for you today, it does help your openness to keep your palms forward, by all means, make this practice your own. You're super strong in the lower half of your body. Your legs are still squeeze, squeeze, squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeezing. Even your glutes are squeezing here. Lifting up through your chest, level through your chin, reach up through the crown of your head. Definitely keep breathing. Good. In this posture, we're able to scan through and notice. In my assessment, for some reason, my left quadricep feels stronger and more engaged than my right. I can notice the position of my neck. I can scan through and feel on my back where I would like to either have a massage or soak in a salt bath. <laughs> so do the same analysis through your body that it is here today. Maybe we're just tired from shoveling this weekend. <laughs> Good, all right, and let it go. <sighs> that was a long time to squeeze. So you don't have to stand like that in line at the grocery store. You don't have to be squeezing, squeezing, squeezing all the time. However, mountain pose is a great way for us to just check in, like doing your little assessment. Wow, I have all this weight on this side. What's happening? I need to do more stuff that brings me balanced over on this side. Good, very nice. Now, please step your feet about three or four feet apart. And as your feet are, are out to this distance, it might be, if it's interesting for you to be a little more technical, about wingspan distance. Mm -hmm. Feet parallel with the edges of your yoga mat. And then here, just again, take a pause to notice. So perhaps a lot of information happening in your hips, a bit of a stretch through your inner thighs. Sometimes we might find that our inner arches drop. So we wanna wake up a little bit here through the inner arches of our feet so that all four corners of our feet 
are balanced. Good. Now you'll start with your right leg turning out first. So turn your whole right leg to turn out, pointing out to the right side. Good. And then begin to bend your right knee so your knee will stop over your ankle. Lovely. All right, if you need to move your feet a little farther apart, if that gives you a little more space here, that's all right. And as you have your legs open to the sides, your belly is still facing towards the long side of the mat. So if we started to turn and go with that leg, just bring yourself back. Let's inhale, reach our arms up parallel to the earth and exhale. Good. Now here at center, you're going to hug into your midline. So a little bit of that feeling you had in balancing table, hug into your center, squeeze in and let that energy radiate out through your arms, extending out through your limbs, even through the crown of your head. And then if you would like, after you're in this really open position, then perhaps turn your gaze to look over your right hand. Good, we're here for three more breaths. Very nice, straighten through your right leg, release your hands down to your hips and turn your right foot back in. We'll do the left side, so turn your whole left leg out. And as you bend your left knee, aiming to have your knee stop over your ankle. Good, here again, we might notice if the right arch has dropped in at all. So just lifting the inner right arch up and away so that that foot stays nice and grounded, solidly planted. Good, here again, we will have our body open. Make sure your knee didn't come with you so your knee is opening out to the side, your chest is opening to the long side of your mat. Good, all right, let's inhale, arms up parallel to the earth. And exhale, good. So hugging into your center, extending that prana, the energy out through your limbs, out through the crown of your head, shining, radiating out that infinite energy source. And then maybe turning your head to the left. Looking out over your left middle finger for three rounds of breath. Good, inhale, straightening through your leg, exhale, hands to your hips. Turning your feet here, parallel to the sides of your mat and then either hop or step your feet to mountain. In your mountain pose, take three breaths, strong legs, anchoring down into the earth, rising up through the central column, through the crown of your head. Excellent, all right, very nice. Hop or step your feet wide again here. With your feet nice and wide apart, we will take the right leg out again, turning out through your right leg, bend your knee. Very nice. Same positioning here with our legs. However, this time, bring your right forearm down to rest onto your thigh. Good, all right, very nice. Strong through your legs here so that your upper body feels free to even rotate open a little bit more. Perhaps looking up towards the ceiling. Maybe reaching your left arm up towards the ceiling. Very nice. Good, lots of space around your collarbones. Sides of your neck are long. Left leg is straight and strong, really pressing. So there's even a line of energy through the outside of your left leg. And then optional, turn your palm towards the top of your mat and reaching your bicep by your ear, left arm long. Reach, 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 reach. Excellent, let's come all the way up. Inhale, coming up, straighten your right leg and exhale, good. Second side, turn your right leg in, turn your
Turn your left leg all the way out. Bending into your left leg here. We'll rest our forearm onto our thigh. Good. So feeling, setting your foundation first, right? Knowing that having that solid foundation is very important. So when you feel nice and strong and solid through your legs, through your foundation, maybe there's some space to roll your rib cage open, perhaps even looking up towards the ceiling. Optional to stretch your right arm up to the sky as if that's helping to lift you up out of your left shoulder. Good. So we're not dropping any weight into that bottom arm. Excellent. Optional here to turn your right palm forward and then reach your right arm long bicep by your ear. Long line of energy like you're trying to stretch from your right pinky toe to your right pinky finger. Beautiful. Very nice. Let's come all the way up. Inhale. Straighten your left leg. Good. Exhale. Turning your feet parallel to the sides of your mat. And once again, hop or step to mountain. Three full breaths in mountain. Integrating. Beautiful. All right. A slightly shorter stance for warrior one. So as opposed to our Vitruvian human measurements, we'll take a slightly shorter stance and then we'll start to turn all of our toes to the right. Now, turning our right leg all the way out. And as you turn your left leg, toes a bit to the left, or rather left toes to the right also, you're setting up here for warrior one. So as you bend your right knee this time, you are facing in the direction of your right leg. Good, so that left leg needs to come with us just a little bit. Beautiful. Reach your arms out to the sides this time. Turn your palms up to the sky. Arms straight out to the sides. Anchor back into your left heel so that you feel perhaps even a little more stretched through that left calf. Nice strong roots back and down, giving you that solid foundation. A comfortable bend into your right knee. And perhaps here, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale here as your shoulders relax down from your ears. Good. Inhale. And exhale, release your arms down, straighten your right leg while you're here. Hands onto your hips for a moment and just halfway, we're gonna hinge forward. So hinging forward at that right hip point, just a little bit halfway or less. And then inhale, press into your foot, come all the way back up. Turning our feet to the other side, we're gonna turn and then turn and then turn. Keep turning so your left leg is pointing out and your right leg has come with you enough that you're facing towards the short end on your left side of your mat. Good. Bend your left knee and really anchor back through your right heel. So if your right heel came up at all, you might step your feet closer together so that you can have a foundation that you're comfortable with that supports you. If you find yourself leaning forward a lot, just bringing your torso back to upright. Optional here, reaching your arms up parallel to the sides and turning your palms up towards the sky. Straight, strong, right leg. Good. Floating your arms up to the sky. Inhale. Shoulders relaxing down. Exhale. Another full breath in. And a full breath out. Good. Inhaling. Exhale. Arms down by your side. Straightening through your left leg. You might bring your hands to your hips for a moment here. We're hinging at the left hip crease. And just beginning to come forward with a flat back as much as possible. Maybe your left hamstring or your calf says, yeah, that's far enough. I'm good. Listen to your body. This is your divine time with yourself. Make it your own. Let's inhale, come up. 
and exhale. Turn your feet again parallel to the edges of your mat and then hop or step your feet to mountain. Good. Strong through your legs, anchor down into the earth, allowing energy to flow up and down your spine, a lot like we've been doing in our meditations. Feeling that free flow of energy. Good. All right. Very nice. For this next posture, if you would like to have a chair or a a wall. We are doing a variation of warrior three. So you could accomplish this from hands onto your hips, lifting your right leg back behind you, tilting forward any amount, maybe just to here and your left buttock says like, yeah, I feel that yeah, we're good. Maybe you go farther into more of an airplane thigh parallel to the earth, similar feeling of the muscle memory we created in balancing table or hands are on a chair or on a wall, finding a balancing here. Good, whichever variation you have taken, slowly coming back up, release your right foot down, shake it all about, good. And then second side, we'll lift our left leg back. Again, maybe Keeping a, a long spine, flat back. We're lifting that leg just a little bit back behind us. We're getting as much of that work through our back body and through our core as we did in our balancing table. Maybe you're going farther into warrior three, lifting that leg out behind you. Hands could be at heart center, could be out like an airplane, even onto your chair or wall. And eventually returning to upright, release. Good. And then shake it all about. Very nice, everyone. Let's take a full breath in, reach your arms up high to the sky. Full breath out, release your arms down by your sides. Two more times, inhale. Good, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. We're coming down onto our mat again for a reclined twist. Getting lots of twists this spring, helping us to wring out a little winter energy. If you would like, you can sun salute your way there. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, downward dog. If you are just coming down to your mat, we will meet back on our back. If you're coming through downward dog and you like to move through a vinyasa, by all means. If you're not familiar with those words, that's all right. It's just a little yoga lingo. Good. And as you are coming all the way down, eventually we'll all meet on our backs in constructive rest, full inhale, full exhale. Full breath in, good, full breath out. <sighs> Release your arms down by your sides. We will move into bridge pose. So allowing your knees to be bent, feet on the floor, feet are parallel here. Aiming to keep your thighs parallel as you press into your feet and lift your hips up off of the floor. As you're lifting up, you might have some space to walk your upper arms slightly under. As you keep pressing into your feet and lifting your hips up, you might explore going into the mind of your bones. So thinking about the structure of your skeletal system. And then a skeletal scoop of your tailbone to lift your hips perhaps slightly higher. If we do that from the mind of the muscles, sometimes our glutes 
uh, engage a little too much. However, if you would like to give them a little squeeze here, just to give them that little wake up, and then slowly, slowly lower your spine, gently as if you're lowering one vertebra at a time, back and down to the mat. Good, once you have landed, if you would like to take a pause and uh, reclined butterfly, bottom of your feet can come together to touch, releasing your knees out to the sides. Here again, your hands might float to rest onto your abdomen, onto your lower belly. Inhaling, your belly gently rises and expands. And exhaling, your belly relaxes back. And perhaps using your hands on the outside of your legs to help your knees to come back up towards center. You could shift your feet a little wider and let your knees drop in towards each other. Good. Now we'll do a little variation before we move into our twist. So lifting your feet up off of the floor a little Mm, loosey goosey twist, I guess is what we'll call it. So right knee opening and then left coming over and then sweeping back through the center over to the left side. So you might use your hands just gently taking your legs, lifting one, taking it up and over. The second one follows, lift back through center. Good, well, just a little Side to side, one leg comes up, the other one follows, go to the other side. And then eventually, we'll take our legs over to the left side and perhaps release them down to the floor. Now, if this makes it a little more challenging to open up through your chest, laying it flat back against the mat, you could scoot your left shoulder a little bit over to the left. See if that gives you a bit more space in your upper back. And then optional here, your left hand could rest onto your rib cage, onto your belly, or even onto your right thigh. And then depending on how it is for your neck, you might turn your head to the right. Thank you, Winter, for this time of rest. Every cell of our bodies are nourished, and full of life force energy, ready to gently emerge into spring. Now, if you've turned your head to the twist, bring your head back first. And then you might bring your right knee up first, hand it over to your right hand. Go back for your left knee and bring yourself back to center. Good. And then if you did situate your upper back a little, you might need to find center. And then we'll take our right knee, left knee over to the right. Again, letting your legs rest onto the floor. Here, you could push into your right elbow, shift your right shoulder over to the right a little bit, seeing if that gives you some space to then open your left arm out to the floor on the left side. Again, a lot already happening here in the twist. Maybe it adds beneficially to our experience to turn our head to the left. Maybe it feels better to the right. Choose what makes the most sense for you.
It's nice to bring your head out of the twist first and then gently guiding one leg and then the other back to center. Now, if you would like back at center to hug your knees, give your back a little massage, rocking side to side, or if happy baby is in your practice, perhaps taking a hold of your feet bending your knees deeply around your rib cage as if you're trying to maybe even touch your knees to the floor you can rock side to side in happy baby or stay in stillness some variations explore straightening one leg and then bending straightening the other leg and bending really flattening your back along the earth And when you are ready, we'll release. You might hug your knees for another squeeze, perhaps lifting your head and shoulders into a little seed, a little ball, curling in, and then release. You're going to plant yourself in our final pose of Shavasana. If you would like, you might put your socks back on here or perhaps grab a blanket for over your body or even a pillow for under your knees. Situating as you extend your legs out long so that your low back feels comfortable. Placing your right shoulder blade and left shoulder blade mindfully. Optional to have your legs extended and arms out by your sides. Turning the palms of your hands open again facilitates that openness across your chest and shoulders. Scan through how you've placed yourself, positioning through your head, a little tuck of your chin. And then when you feel ready to come into stillness for this pose, inhale deeply. And as you exhale and sigh it out, let your whole body relax into stillness. Nothing more needs to be done. This is our posture of integration. We pause to rest and digest. And as you're here for at least 10 more rounds of breath, scan through again from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes, inviting your whole body to relax.
your whole body completely relaxed, resting here in Shavasana. Guide your awareness back to your body, back to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling slowly. Find a slow turn of your head side to side. A little movement with your fingers and your toes. Eventually a stretch through your arms and legs. Take your time as you bend your knees, bringing your feet to the earth. And as you prepare to transition to seated, it might feel nice to bring your knees to your chest first, or simply roll to one side. Once you arrive onto either side, you could use your arm as a pillow. Pausing for a moment. before pressing yourself up to seated. As you arrive into your seated position, let's take a moment here to inhale and reach your arms up high to the sky. And then join your palms and exhale, bring your hands down in front of your heart space. Full breath in. And as you exhale, a gentle bow of your head towards your heart with a smile. Thank you so much for your practice. Peace be with you and namaste.